speakers that pop out. Let's check them out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm looking at more speakers, or more correctly, I should say, I'm looking at Mo speakers. This is the Pow Mo speaker, and it's pretty darn interesting. As you can see, it's kind of a big, sort of interesting shaped speaker, but its secret trick is that you can fold it down, and now it actually has magnetic connections. So there's a variety of different things it comes with, one of which is what they call the wallet mount. So you can see it has the little metal dots on it and it connects right to the speaker and then you can put some credit cards and such in here if you want. You could even attach it to your belt, I suppose. Not sure I'd do that, but hey, you know, you can do that. They also have what they call the wall or sticky mount and this one's kind of cool too because as you can see, again, it's super strong. It just clips right on there, if I can get it off. This has an adhesive that you can take off and so you can stick it onto a surface and then whenever you want, you just put the speaker there and it's ready to roll. Now, there's a third piece to this because they also have, and this is optional, they have a phone case and you guessed it, the phone case also has those same little metal tabs so it works magnetically. I did check and you can still use wireless charging with this case on. Um, I have to say the case isn't gonna win any awards for glorious color or design, but it's very functional and it actually is kind of a neat addition to the line. So, it's a speaker. Let's talk about the speaker. Now, the first thing is, is that there's actually like an air suction vacuum thing going on. Maybe not a vacuum, but it's a little tricky to sort of master the gesture of opening it up, right? So now it's opened up. And let's see, I think I got it into the wrong mode. Let's see what's happening here. So let's put some music on. Yeah, so you know, it's, this is actually one of the biggest problems I have with this is that it has some issues with how it actually lets you open. Let's see. United We Expand. Okay, United We Expand. That's their okay, kind of a little bit dorky. That's what it says when you now have stereo paired them. So now, if I do this, we'll listen to this music. So here's one speaker, and here's the other speaker. So they're both working. Obviously, a little more separation is going to give us better sound. Turn the volume down a little bit. So it's actually pretty nice sound. Now, what I will say is that, oh, let me take the bottom units off of this, so you can see it's the same size. So, you know, if you make it really loud, it's okay, not fantastic, but, you know, all in all, considering the design and considering all the other things they're doing here, I actually thought the sound was good. They call this the wave bloom technology, the whole idea that, you know, you're gonna be able to open it up and then get a little more bass reflex. Now, you don't have to do that. You can actually leave it closed and they will still work perfectly fine. So, that sounds good. And of course, since they're magnets, you can plug them on to Hang on. You can put them onto any metal surface. So they will go on the side of a car. They can go on your fridge. They can go on a filing cabinet at work. So that's actually really fun, right? So you just have these and you just sort of stick them on two surfaces in front of you and you are good to go with all sorts of music and battery life, eight hours of playing time off the rechargeable battery. And I know you wanna know how do you charge it? You charge it with a USB-C charging connection and it includes it the cable in the box, which is nice. So each speaker is seven ounces, so they're not super light, but that's because they actually are speakers. So super light speakers, there's a word for that, and the word is they don't actually have any sound. That's not really a word, it's a phrase. <laughs> oh well. Um, they run Bluetooth 4.2, so they're not quite Bluetooth 5.0. Um, and, you know, overall, it's a pretty interesting idea. It's an interesting design. Um, these are production prototypes, so I think the final units will be slightly easier to open and close. The only criticism I have, and this thing kind of drives me a little bonkers with these, is I think the placement of these buttons relative to the opening and closing was a poor thought because they have little tiny edges here that make it somewhere where you, you know, obviously are gonna open and close it. So why have the buttons right there? Why not have the buttons on the end? 
or better have the buttons on the front so that if I close it you can see with it closed here's a close-up I can't get to the buttons not a great design for me to have to open it and then when I'm opening it have to risk the possibility of pushing a button accidentally right so put those buttons on the very front that solves the problem I can do it like this and then when I'm ready for a little more base I can just pop it open and get a little more more I don't know um, echoing in there or whatever it's going on but it definitely improves the base <laughs> I should know that word oh well anyway so comes in two colors snow and graphite and if you buy the unit it comes with the wallet mount and the handy wall click mount and then the actual iPhone case for specific kinds of phones that will run you a separate $17.99 so here's the thing is that they're a little spendy for what they are too but before we get there let me ask can you click on that subscribe link really appreciate when you subscribe to my channel cool now they are $99 each so let me do this right $99.99 at powaudio.com there's a pre-order for $94.99 because they're not quite shipping yet in fact on the back it says pre-production sample not for resale so this is not exactly what they're going to ship but they assure me it's pretty darn close so I really like the idea I really wish that you got two speakers for $99 because $100 each feels a little expensive for this for what it is but it does give you good sound it's certainly a novel design and the idea that I can have it on the back of my phone and I suppose I could do something like this and I have tried with like video sources there's a lag but it's a fraction of a second so it's really not a big deal unless you're staring at the screen and watching their lips as they're talking otherwise you're not going to have any issues at all and all the gunshots and laser beams and all that on modern movies they're all going to be just about exactly in the right spot so no issues there anyway that's about all I have to say you know I think that they're really good I think it's an interesting technology I think it's an interesting design I would rather have the button somewhere else but that's up to you and how you actually choose to use these anyway the POW Mo expandable phone speaker I'm gonna get back to my music if I can open this up and I will catch you in my next video so thanks for watching